Now, what if you want to edit this? What if you want to create a, a curtain wall that is not necessarily all equal all the way across? Or maybe you need to put a door into this curtain wall or put a, a different type of glass in one panel versus another. Well, how you do that? I don't recommend using one of these preset curtain wall tools. What I do recommend is I will delete this first and we'll start with a new type, a different type of wall. So go back to the plan and we'll draw another wall. And this time we're going to use the curtain wall one. You can always rename these walls. It doesn't have to be called curtain wall one. So hit escape and we'll go to the 3D view. And this is the wall that does not have any of the uh, divisions in it, any of the, the glass panels or any of the mullions. It's just a solid glass wall. So if I want to create a wall, a curtain wall that has custom divisions in it, maybe not necessarily all of the panels are exactly the same size, or I want to put a door in it, this is the way that I recommend to do it. So you have a empty plane of glass. We'll turn on the shade mode so that you can see the glass. And I'm going to start putting some curtain grids in here. Now the way that these walls work is the mullions are actually hosted on what are called curtain grids. So first you have to establish what that grid is and then you can apply the mullions to it. So we have this wall here and on the home tab there is a button here called curtain grid. And so if I click that and I go to uh, close to the top of the wall or close to the bottom of the wall, Revit wants to place a vertical grid line. If I go to close to the one side or the other, it creates a horizontal uh, grid line. So I'm just going to sort of randomly click some points along here to create some divisions. And they're all different divisions. And then we'll do one horizontally. So now we've got our divisions. And if I change the length of this wall, just to see what happens. So it says that it's deleting elements. What it's actually deleting, if you can see here in the elevation, it's highlighting those two grid lines. When I move that wall past those grid lines, it can't have those grid lines anymore. So it's, it's saying it needs to delete them. And so I just say delete elements, and then we're okay.